Therefore Choose Life is about a husband and wife who've been married uh, 30 years. Um, a Holocaust survivor and his Canadian wife had a nice, safe uh, marriage, but he gets this letter um, 25 years later from his first wife, who he thought died in the Holocaust. And it's uh, this letter that gets the play going, the action going, and it's the catalyst for what moves the family forward with all their strives and all their conflicts. I play his first wife, the one that he thought was lost in the camps, and I have been searching for him, and I've been in Russia for 30 years and couldn't leave. So I was able to leave Russia and get some letters out. This takes place in the early 70s, so things are a bit different than now in terms of communications and finding people. The title says it all, Therefore Choose Life. It's about a family, um, it's about change, it's about the reluctance to change, and the uh, ultimate decision for each and every one of the characters in the play to, um, to change, to grow, and to uh, discover that they're, that they, they'll be okay. It's, um, it's a tough play. It's, uh, I think every family will watch this play and see themselves in it. It runs a range of emotions, uh, families and pain and joy and uh, frustrations. Uh, just the, I can't imagine what a family would feel going through the things that this family has to go through. It's, um, it's about a very ordinary situation with a family, with an extraordinary circumstance that happens to this family, and just 